Good morning. Welcome to Backroads Metal Detecting. My name is Jim Perry. So it is an absolutely gorgeous Sunday morning. My wife's got to work today and the kids all have plans. So I'm out at a favorite permission of mine. I have been out here several times and found some very interesting items. And being that the weather is really nice and the grasses are very, very low around the home and the barns here, it is the ideal time for me to get out here to detect before it gets far too thick for me to reach any of the targets out here. I've got a few hours and again, beautiful day, a bit windy, but I am very much looking forward to some time outside and seeing what history I might be able to pull from this property here. You'll have to excuse the sound of the wind. I know it's a bit loud. Uh, another absolutely beautiful day, but much more windy than yesterday. So I've slowly made my way back and forth, kind of toward the home from behind one of the barns. Uh, lots of farm equipment, lots of trash out there in the open spot between the home and the barns. And my first target that I can identify for sure how old it is and what it was used for, this would have been Oh, probably six or seven inches down. Uh, this is a shotgun shell. Nitro Express. Let me set this down so you can see it a little bit better. This shell was produced between 1934 and 1944. I do know that this property was here long before that. Um, I have detected here quite a few times and found some interesting items here last year a pocket watch and then an old skeleton key just behind the home so we'll take a few hours and see what else might turn up so this home and part of the property uh, was abandoned years ago but not quite so long ago back when these were used if you wanted to watch tv in order to get uh, television stations way out here in the middle of nowhere so it does make sense that i'm finding um, some fairly new trash, lots of uh, pieces of siding that were clipped off when they redid siding on this. And then, always wanting to use your eyes amongst all of the broken glass and everything, there is a small figurine, I'm assuming a small child playing out here, maybe even after the home wasn't used anymore, alongside the front side of this house by the front steps. So, very cool. And my next item is maybe eight or nine feet away from the uh, back entrance down into the cellar. Maybe six or seven inches down as well. I uh, recognize this right away is a bottle top opener. We'll have to um, clean it up, see if I can get some lettering off of it not going to bother to do that now. We'll let it dry up a bit and then get that figured out at home so I can move along here. Very, very nice. I always find these, it seems like, uh, fairly often. So I've slowly made my way from around the front of the home, back behind, and then to where the back door is here. I found a skeleton key back here last year, uh, and a couple of other items. So fortunately or unfortunately, I do know someone who said that years ago, he was hired to come out here and fill in all of this area with gravel. So everything uh, to just past these trees here, all along here to in between each of these barns it does have grasses growing but it is gravel just underneath those grasses unfortunately because the digging is extremely difficult fortunately because the targets are really not very far down so just several inches down here i found another item I have found several of these before, but never with a design on it. Unfortunately, it is broken. 
in amongst the gravel and the rocks here, I immediately knew just from seeing the inside of this what it was. This is part of a crotal bell. And it has a design on it, which is actually going to help me be able to date it. The patina on here is gorgeous. I'm going to be very careful. I don't want to wipe all that off until we take away this beautiful green color. Let me set this here so you can see it a little bit better. I have never found one of these with a design on it. Boy, I would like to find one all in one piece. So this would also be known as a jingle bell. So this would have been, uh, the top would have been up here. And then this would have been the bottom. And then along the sides, you can see there um, actually is a gap there just to the right side of it. Uh, there would have been slots cut in it. There would have been a little thing to hang this on. And this would have gone on horses and they would have jingled. Um, so another partial crotal bell with an absolutely gorgeous design on it. I'm so happy to be able to take that with. I'm going to check uh, within six or eight feet here very, very carefully. See if I might be able to find any other parts with. That would be very nice. And just a few feet away from that, probably five or six inches down, out came this. I have no idea what it is. Uh, at first I thought maybe it was a hat or a hairpin because of the posts that looked like they'd been broken off there, but I'm not sure. Also it looks like there might have been some lettering around one of the edges. I'll have to clean it up a bit better when I get home and see if I can identify it. But either way, I'll, uh, I'll take it with me. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I'm right in the middle of the driveway here, and I just found a bucket list item that I have always wanted to find. I have watched video after video of people who have found these, and I have felt so bad that I have never come across one myself. So again, I'm right in the middle of this driveway, terrible, terrible digging, but the ground is pretty wet, so not as bad as in July or August. Oh, I just found my first thimble. Here it is, right in the middle of all this gravel. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm sad to see that it's squashed, but it looks like it might even be silver. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me, um, let me clean this off in, uh, See what this design might say. Oh, I'm so excited. Very, very cool. Just a second. Well, I can't tell for sure if it's silver or not. I tried to open it a little bit, but I'm afraid of breaking it. It is quite heavy. It, unfortunately though, is pretty thin. It could be heavy because of the soil that is stuck inside there. But at least for now, I'm at least going to hope that it's silver. But again, my very first thimble. Absolutely beautiful. I am so thrilled about finding that today. So I have no idea what this is. It is copper and there are a couple of holes in it. I don't know if there was a ring on the other end here like there is on this end, but this was just a few inches down 
in the gravel if you have an idea of what that might be it almost looked like a spoon handle to me and then like a teeny tiny spoon bowl but it is neither one of those it almost reminds me of a, a fishing lure but it's also not that i can tell so any ideas go ahead and let me know in the comments So I made my way back behind the barn uh, out to a cow pasture here and ironically I found two newer copper pennies out there. So across the fence line making my way back through here to where I found the pocket watch last year, oh maybe 20 feet in front of me and I've got another coin but I can tell already this one is not brand new. I am not certain what it is, but I am not seeing Lincoln on it. I found an Indian head scent. Let me clean this up. I want to do this carefully. The patina on there is absolutely gorgeous here. Just a second. We'll see what the date is together. So again, you'll have to excuse the wind. It is extremely windy out here. So this is an Indian head scent. By far not the oldest that I've ever found, but it has been a while. It's been since last fall. This is a 1902 Indian head. Very, very cool. Glad to find that today. It's been a while since I found an older coin. And a trip to this property or any of them like it would not be complete without finding a very, very, very old square nail from the structures that are currently here and some that I actually suspect sat here behind the home along the creek. So with that, I will call it a day. It has been a long afternoon. I've been here about four hours, but it was a double bucket lister day. Got my finds all set out. Let me show you what I found. So I had a great time here this afternoon. Always finding items like this. This would be a sycamore blade. Always a uh, very strong signal anytime it's an iron ring. These are two massive bullets that were crunched as they hit something that would have been shot. The very first target was the Nitro Express shotgun shell stamp. The beer bottle top opener, and there were several bottle tops back there as well that were older. Again, never tired of finding old square nails. It lets me know that I'm in at least the right place. The mystery item, no idea what this is back here. It is slightly concave, one hole on either end in a ring, at least on the one side. If anyone has any clue what that is, please let me know. And then my three favorite items from today, two of them being bucket listers for me. An old crotal bell, unfortunately it is broken, but the first that I've ever found that has a design on it. Very thankful for that. I'll be looking up more information about that later on. Then the first time ever finding a thimble. I am really hoping that this is silver. Uh, again, it is very heavy. So once I get the dirt clump cleaned out of it, we'll see. It rang up very, very high on the detector, so I'm assuming that that might be what it is. And then rounding out with a 1902 Indian head set. Not bad for a few hours of work this afternoon. Many thanks to the property owner again for allowing me to come out here to detect. I talked to him yesterday and he is all good to go for me to be out here again this year. As always, thanks for joining me again today. Hope to see you again.